Over the years, I have not been too hard on left-wing guy Chris Matthews because he usually frames things in a political rather than a personal way. But recently, Matthews has changed his tone. Right now, he's on a jihad against Texas Senator Ted Cruz. This guy goes pretty far, but I think he fits to the tradition of Father Coughlin and McCarthy, and of course, and maybe to a lesser extent, Pat Buchanan, and, and of course, O'Reilly. These guys are hard right-wing guys. They look a lot alike. They have that we call the black Irish look to them. In addition to being misguided intellectually, Mr. Matthews apparently needs glasses badly. The question is, why is Matthews spouting this nonsense? Well, one of the reasons could be ratings. MSNBC in prime time down 20% year to year and falling fast. Joining us now from Washington, Tim Graham uh, from the Media Research Center and from Macon, Georgia, Eric Erickson from the redstate.com blog. Both are conservatives. So Mr. Erickson, I think it's a, a desperate attempt by Matthews to get attention, and it's working because we're talking about it. But it's interesting because I don't think most viewers know how desperate the ratings are, both on radio and television, for liberals. What have you seen? Bill, you know, it's very much like uh, people remember in the Iraq War, Baghdad Bob, as the Americans were closing in, he got more and more shrill and desperate. This is what's happening to liberal talk radio and liberal news like MSNBC. That As the ratings go down, as people are becoming more and more disenchanted with liberalism, it doesn't relate to people who live within 100 miles of a river valley, only 25 miles of a coast. People are tuning out and they're becoming more shrill trying to keep the core audience. When you analyze, this is what your agency does, Mr. Graham, there isn't a liberal uh, talk radio presence now on a national basis. There's nobody in New York, nobody in Los Angeles on a national basis. I mean, that's done, right? Liberal talk radio, Air America, finished. There was such a great hope in 2004 that they were going to take down President Bush with this massive presence in talk radio. And even at a time when MSNBC was doing well in the second term of Bush, Air America and these hosts just never took off at all. And part of the reason is they just don't have any substance to offer. Uh, you know, if you listen to these shows, they're just terrible shows, and they don't have anything substantive to say that makes any sense. All right, well, it's usually personal attacks, but, but right-wing radio show, uh, talk radio people, they're maybe more entertaining, but they do some of the ad hominem stuff, too. Now, as far as MSNBC is concerned, um, they did okay last year, but not really, they were never competitive with Fox News, and CNN's decline, you know, kind of helped them a little bit. But now, Mr. Erickson, in the last six months, it's all fallen apart for MSNBC. I mean, they're in desperate situation right now, are they not? Yeah, Bill, and you mentioned talk radio. You know, I have a talk radio show in Atlanta, and one of the first things I was told is you've got to be entertaining. And frankly, I, I don't know that there's a lot of entertainment on MSNBC or a lot of liberal talk shows. That there, There's a lot of anger there still, even though they've won and been successful politically. Uh, there's a lot of anger. But more than that, they don't really relate. I, I think factually so, they don't relate to people in the heartland. They relate to and talk to an audience that is largely urban, centered along the coast, San Francisco, yeah, New York, it's, Washington, Yeah, it's a narrow LA. cast, but on television. Right. You can do okay on cable news with a narrow but cast. If not you, when it's narrow and angry. No, but, but here's what's happening, though. The Obama idolatry, which really MSNBC uh, embraced, and, and they were the campaign right. headquarters for the president, that's, that's vanishing now because of, right. all of the all of the problems that are one after the other after the other. And you know what? They lead with weather on some of those stations <laughs> now. They're covering anything other than that because they don't know what to say. So the core liberal audience, all right, and this happened after uh, Romney lost, some core conservatives just tuned out. They didn't mm -hmm. want to listen to anything anymore. They were so mad. That's what's happening with the core liberal audience, Mr. Graham, because they... They're disenchanted with President Obama because of the spying and the IRS and all the other business. They don't want to hear it, so they're gone. And now Matthews has got to call me names and, and other people names. He's got to go on the attack because he's got nothing else. Mr. Graham. Chris is just unglued these days, and it's, it's sad because, you know, th this, is, this network now has nothing to do but try to play defense, and some of these shows aren't even doing that. So you see these shows focusing on topics like pot brownies in Colorado and Walmart shareholder meetings. Look, Tom Cruise showed up. Uh, you know, you're just like, what are you doing? You know, they, they're not even willing to stand up 
for Obama because they just have nothing uh, well, defensible I mean, and, and, to and say in his defense. Is, I know you watch, and, and Mr. Erickson, just for your, on uh, CNN, which is not, I don't consider them, I consider them left wing, but they're not crazy ideological. But they're going Turkey, they're going Syria. These are the story, anything to avoid covering what's going on in Washington. And the folks are just tuning out in droves. I mean, they never had right. droves over there, but well, they were doing better. Uh, because of the breaking news stories, and CNN can cover breaking news. Um, but anyway, I mean, I, I get a kick out of this because uh, Matthews thinks I'm a far-right fascist, but the far-right guys on the radio are taking me apart every day, so I'm really confused. I, I really don't know where I am, gentlemen, and we appreciate you helping us out tonight. Thank you.